Hello YouTube world, this is Keith in the No Wine Cellar. Just wanted to give you a tour of my basement gym. I started building the gym in 2015, so it's definitely not a pandemic gym. It has been around for many years. Uh, it's slowly and surely upgraded over time, adding uh, new stuff as funds allow. This is just a, uh, I don't know, this is my powerlifting home gym. A lot of York weights. A lot of different uh, places to squat, bench, and deadlift. Got it set up to where you can have several people down here at the same time training. I like training with my training partners and just having a big crew down here at least a couple days a week. So let's get into some of the pieces. This is my competition bench press. Had this made by State of the Art Welding here in Western New York. It's uh, 17 inches tall. It's got the uh, face savers adjustable arms, everything goes up and down, uh, nice platform, lift off deck, custom orange paint color because orange is the theme down here in the no wine cellar. So that is uh, definitely my favorite piece in the whole gym I'd say. If I had to have one piece that I could take with me it would be that. And my main squat rack that I use the most is the Rogue uh, Monster Squat Stand with the uh, spotter arms. And then I've got the, uh, the Rogue Monster Light squat stand over there. That used to be the original one, but then I uh, just wanted to upgrade. So it wasn't a huge difference between the Monster and the Monster Light, but said I've got multiple people down here and I was able to just phase out a cheaper squat rack. I've got a uh, Rogue Reverse Hyper, Elite FTS box squat. Get a older pair of body lat pull down I've had for a long time. That's been a, uh, got a really good deal on that. That's been nice to have. So got the low and high row on it. Got a same deadlift platform that everyone has. Homemade, nice homemade deadlift platform. Got a treadmill. The, uh, what I want to say this is the body solid adjustable uh, leg curl, leg extension. That's pretty nice. Over here, I've got a Titan T2 squat rack in the corner, so it's three total places we can squat and four places we could bench if we'd like. And then I've got, one of my favorites is the full York dumbbell set from one pound all the way up to a hundreds. So if anyone knows anything about weights, York round heads are pretty awesome. And having a complete set is uh, was definitely a goal of mine and I was glad I was able to get that. I've got a pair of York loadable dumbbells also. So if we need to go above 100 pounds, that's easy enough. We got York blobs. Those are half of the dumbbells. Uh, basically, you know, you just cut the uh, sleeve out of the middle or the, the shaft out of the middle and then you can uh, use them for grip training, trying to, you know, pick up one of the heads. So yeah, love the dumbbells. Having a full set of dumbbells has been great. Uh, during the pandemic, I did actually pick up a pair of power blocks though for the occasional time we had someone over. Uh, it was nice to have two full sets of dumbbells essentially. So I got the power blocks that go up to 90 pounds. Those are pretty sweet to have in a pinch when you want a second full set of dumbbells. And uh, what do we got? Lots of weight. Um, we got over 4,000 pounds of milled York plates. So that has been a uh, I initially had cap plates a long time ago. I was able to upgrade all my plates to milled plates. Well, milled era, because technically they're not all milled, but they're milled era York plates. So I think I've got 28 pairs of 45s, like individual pairs, not individual plates. So that is, uh, I definitely don't have the most amount of weight as anyone, but I've got, I'm pretty happy with my collection. Everything matches, so. Rogue, def, rogue full deadlift jack, big fan of that. If you know several people deadlifting, there's no reason to, you know, not have a deadlift jack, especially a full size one. Uh, the chalk bowl was made by the same guy that made the bench, so that's state of the art welding. So, nice custom chalk bowl. Um, we've got uh, deadlift blocks, so I think those are four inch homemade deadlift uh, blocks for rack pulls or block block pulls. That is. Um, wrist wraps, wrist wraps. Uh, these are one of my favorites, actually. I was never a big fan of straps, but these Versa grips, they're pretty nice. I'm a big fan of those. Bench block that goes two to five, bench block that goes one to two, dead wedge, 
slingshot that pretty much never gets used. A bunch of uh, lacrosse balls and sticks and whatnot. Um, got the wall control pegboard like everybody else has. With all my attachments for my pull down and got some collars and whatnot sitting there. And more weights. Uh, if anyone's familiar with York plates, you know they got the uh, York deep dish plates. Pretty popular. Um, got three pairs of those that occasionally I'll pull them out and use them, but kind of more for just, I use them for anchor weight, but I don't know. I, I'm a collector as well as a, as a user, so it's nice to have those. It's just been something, I've, you know, added to my collection over the years. And then we get to the barbells. The barbells is a... Uh, Definitely have several barbells here. I'm a, a big, big barbell guy. This is mainly a barbell gym. You know, we don't have a whole lot of room for equipment. So most of it's just, uh, if you can't do it with a barbell, then you might not, you know, want to come train here. So we've got the, I want to say from the top going down, it's a Valor Sports 25 pound Swiss bar. Got that on Amazon several years ago for hundred bucks. I don't think it's available anymore. Um, got the Texas squat bar. Uh, Compete in powerlifting. Uh, a lot of the federations I go to use a Texas squat bar, so you know I like to have what I have to use in meets in my gym. So a lot of what I have is repetitive and not really necessary if you're just a regular lifter. But you know if you compete in a sport and you have hobbies and you you know if you don't have kids, why not spend all your extra money on your hobbies? For me, that's powerlifting. So and home gym in general. So underneath the squat bar is a Texas deadlift bar. So. Big fan of that. Deadlift with the deadlift bar more often than not. I like that it's a little thinner, so you know can't go wrong with a flexi deadlift bar that puts a little, put some pounds on your uh, deadlift. Um, underneath that is the uh, Kabuki Duffalo bar. Love this bar. Pretty much my main squat bar nowadays. Just uh, you know, I don't try to. I try not to use a stiff bar or a straight bar to squat very often, except unless I'm leading up to a meet. It's just you know, I I, I like to bench two or three times a week, and if I squat with a straight bar beats the crap out of my elbows and wrists and just you know no reason to do that so the duffalo bar allows you to put the bar in a lot better position and be a little more safe on your shoulder and still feels like a high bar squat or a low bar squat depending on where you put it so i've had a couple different versions of that that i finally was lucky and found a duffalo bar used and great bar uh under that is my probably my, one of my favorite bars is the it is so that is the fully stainless steel rogue ohio power bar um I had an opportunity to buy the ones that had the chrome sleeves and I'm sure they're just as fine. I just, you know, I like that it has the fully stainless steel so it matches a little bit better and doesn't have shiny sleeves that kind of stick out of place. So uh, the knurling that is just the same as the one with the, you know, the black zinc one. It's just, as far as the pattern, um, it's just a lot more grippy because there's no, you know, it's not painted or finished. So big fan of that bar. Um, then we've got probably my second favorite bars, the, you know, the SS yoke, the Elite FTS SSB, if you will, safety squat bar. Um, very quad dominant uh, squat, but it's great if you have really bad shoulder issues or want to get it, uh, want, want to use it as a quad accessory. So I use that typically once a week. The uh, cap hex bar, trap bar, I think it's the 70 pound version, nothing special, but does the job if you uh, want to use a hex bar. I tend to only use that if I'm injured for the most part because uh, it's just a little, a lot less stress on the back. And over here, so we've got a Texas power bar on the bottom, um, a Rogue Ohio power bar in black zinc. Then there's the Rogue Ohio bar. Uh, it's nice to have a, an Ohio bar just for something with a little passive aggressive, a, a passive knurling. Uh, some people don't want to come down here and power lift. They want to come down and do front squats and, you know, a bunch of rows and stuff. So there's no reason to uh, have a very gnarly bar that's going to chew up your back or your, you know, your chest if you're doing something that's not a power lift. So a, uh, a passive bar is nice to have as a uh, alternative to a power bar. You've got two older York uh, Olympic bars. So those don't get a whole lot of use. They're just kind of, you know, I, eventually once I get better bars, more newer bars, I'll probably phase those bars out, you know, not necessarily get rid of them, but get them out of the barbell storage and store them somewhere else. Uh, the top is a 15 pound bar rep fitness training bar. I bought that for my wife after she had surgery a few years ago and she couldn't uh, lift a 45 pound bar anymore. So having a rackable 15 pound bar is pretty cool. Pretty neat option. Um, yeah, got, so still, still rocking my old Pioneer tower speakers that I've had for you know, about 20 years or more since I was a kid. Um, 
That's a pretty cool plaque that one of my old training partners before she moved away had commissioned for us. Uh, this is the no wine cellar. It's a basement gym, 700 square foot, using approximately three quarters of my thousand square foot basement gym, or my basement for gym. Um, another weight tree, we've got two curl bars. Don't see a whole lot of use with them, but there's a vintage York split sleeve curl bar in the back and a rogue curl bar uh, in the front. Not the rackable version, just the basic version. Um, so yeah, um, big fan of these uh, J-Cup protectors. I got these from Aperture Engineering. Um, they were offered in orange too, so that was a no-brainer for me. Uh, got them for the sp spotters and for the J-Cups. So they're effective a little bit, you know, they do help if you're, you know, you're coming up and you hit the front of the J cup with the bar, you're not going to nick the bar or anything. But for me, it's kind of more aesthetic. I think it just looks cool. I, you know, with all the stall mats down here, I think I have like 18 or 20 stall mats. So everything's just black and black is just you know, all the equipment's black. All the stall mats are black. So having some orange really, in my opinion, makes the gym pop. Uh, another use for the wall control is get some long pegboard hooks and actually use it to air out your dirty elbow sleeves and knee sleeves. So, you know, there's nothing worse than trying to put on a pair of sleeves and just smelling the last session's dirty stink. So having these aired out has been pretty cool. Um, one of my newest additions that I'm probably the most happy with is the uh, Pioneer Fitness, or yeah, Pioneer General Leather Craft, the, uh, their adjustable lever belt. So being able to, uh, to do the adjustments on that belt so being able to do half inch adjustments on a lever belt is pretty sweet. Um, got a lot of t-shirts hanging up from old powerlifting meets that I've done in the past. T ton of banners. Big fan of Massonomics and Pioneer, garage gym equipment. F your commercial gym. My own banner for the No Wine Cellar. Uh, I typically compete in USPA, but I've dabbled in WPF and I've actually got a USAPL meet coming up. So. Uh, just I like the banner. I like to support people and companies that I, you know, use and compete in. Uh, another Massonomics, Texas Power Bars, huge fan. There's the old uh, Pioneer, the other Pioneer speaker and the newer uh, Sony receiver since my old Pioneer receiver doesn't work anymore. So I did have to upgrade that, but still rocking the old speakers. Um, got a little trophy case or kind of thing we've had from uh, my wife and I's powerlifting meets over the years. Uh, pull up bar and a couple mirrors a little area over there for your uh, kind of use this area for a second deadlift platform um, I just have people use like st uh, bumper plates so if you're gonna deadlift just on the stall mats it's nice to have the uh, bumper plates uh, three benches I've got so on the left we've got the rep 5000 flat adjustable bench um, really good bench. I don't use it a whole ton, but if someone's benching in one of the uh, squat racks, that's you know pretty much the go-to bench because it's most replicates a a uh, competition powerlifting bench. So a lot of people will use that. Uh, my favorite out of the three is honestly is the one in the middle. So that's the uh, Rep FID 3000, I think. So it's the flat incline decline. I've had that bench for probably four or five years. Uh, big fan of it I it's it's not too heavy it's it's not too light duty it's just kind of right for me I'm big fan um, then there's the the monster bench uh, the rogue adjustable 2.0 bench I believe I love that thing it's super heavy duty super beefy my one complaint is the pad is it's it's very stiff uh, so hopefully that that'll break in over time and you know so yeah this is a this is a gym for people you know I Got lots of friends that come down here and train every Sunday. We, we get a big old powerlifting crew down here. We try to and keep up a pretty uh, consistent weekly training session. So that is my gym in a nutshell. If you have any questions or want any more uh, in-depth reviews on anything or you want any feedback or, you know, give me any feedback you have, basically. Uh, you can get you can uh, look me up on Instagram at The No Wine Cellar. No dashes, no spaces, anything like that. Just The No Wine Cellar. Uh, I've got an Instagram page dedicated strictly to the gym, so come follow me on there and uh, watch all the cool stuff I post. Thanks, thanks YouTube. See you next time.